worlds at a critical juncture. We had the Millennium Development Goals. They were guiding international development for the past 14, 15 years. And I think the world will be looking to this generation to see whether we're going to get it right for the next 15 years or wrong. The key challenge is, again and again, almost everywhere, poverty carries the face of a woman. The world tends to assume that if we look at the data and if we really care about women and if we say women are important often enough, that we'll be able to smooth away those parts of the world where we have gender discrimination. We've achieved a lot with the Millennium Development Goals, but those who were left behind were adolescent girls and their rights and needs still haven't been addressed. Most girls in the area we work have had their first child before their 16th birthday. One in 20 of them is likely to die in childbirth or in pregnancy. If you can't protect yourself from unintended pregnancies, you can't protect yourself from STIs, you can't make empowered decisions about your individual life, how can you have development from that? Because development comes from the individual. There are many rights that are undermined throughout the lives of women. And therefore, any architecture that is going to develop progress for women and girls has to be anchored on rights and equality. There is no development without having the skill, the capacities and the services and the commodities and the information they need to make those informed decisions and have fun while they're doing it. That's when they start to be able to take their place in the economic development of the nation, complete their education and do other things that we take for granted. Women who have been educated, they spend more time developing their families, they, they take a longer time developing themselves and you find out that in the long run they are able to make better decisions, their children are able to make better decisions. The evidence does show that families benefit and as a result of that communities benefit and ultimately nations benefit. To make sure that the next framework really does what it's supposed to do, eliminate poverty, we've really got to empower the voices of the most marginalised. In the Global South, the outcomes of the next development framework will have a huge impact on their lives because it will dictate their government's priorities. It's not necessarily simple, but things can actually change quite quickly. There's no one answer to this. There's a good opportunity, a golden opportunity here, to do something very positive on gender equality.